Okay, so the container more or less is running. Um, but I got some things I got to do to fix it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tinktronics channel where we're going to tinker and learn today. And what we are going to do is a project in Proxmox move container to another server. This is a Tech Tinktronics production. Our approach to this is going to be we're going to back up this container. We're going to back it up to a central location on the network. This is the first stage of the project. It's important to have a backup from which can be restored for a new server. If we don't have a good backup, then we don't have this project. Then we're going to add the network share to my second server. I have a video on that sort of thing. The host, both hosts must be able to see the same share. It will serve as a conduit for transferring containers and possibly VMs to the other server. And we're going to, on the new server, on the second server, I should say, it's not new. I'm going to restore the container from the backup. So basically this is a project. I never did this before. So this is not a tutorial. This is just going to be kind of like my experience with it. And with that, the steps I plan to take are I'm going to enable this to store backups. That's already been done. I already created this for that sort of thing. Um, and I stored a backup in a previous video. We're going to create backup from the Proxmox GUI. That's step two. Step three, we're going to move the backup file via shared disk. Step four, we're going to restore the backup from the Proxmox GUI in the other server. And step five, we're going to attempt to run the container from the second host to see the validity of our container. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this Proxmox network. This is server number one where all the VMs are being ran from. The container, I should say, we're going to be backing up and moving is Venus. Venus doesn't really do much for me right now, but it's just for this test, we're going to do it. We're just going to see what we could do. So say if I wanted to create a backup, it's going to go to my Synology NAS. And then I would simply, like, say I want to click back up now. I'll leave it ZT, excuse me. I will leave it ZSTD for fast and good. As a matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to stop it. But we'll do it from back, and then. And then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so as you can see, we're stopping the VM. It's creating the VZ dump for us. This could take a while.
Wow. So... Hmm. So it looks like what has been done is done. I could maybe go verify that. But the thing to do now is to see if we can pick this up on uh, the other machine. Notice that the Proxmox virtual environment is 6.211. So, on to the other machine. All right, so what we have here is this is on server one. We need to see if we could get this over, get this shown over there. So we take a look at what we did. So we need to add. What are we adding? I've done this in the video before. I probably should watch my own video. We're adding the. The IFS and to make our lives easily easier, I'm just going to use the information from there. If I could copy it, great. Now I'm going to do that. I put in a password, then we're going to see what the share is, call it the P. Uh oh. Let's try the password again. And then everything shows up. So just confirm the same information, add. Okay, the mistake I made when I was setting this up was I didn't enable all these, all the content. Therefore, now that I've enabled all the content, you could see what was backed up on onto that drive. Now it has visibility of what is backed up on that drive. So if I wanted to, I'm going to take this off of service. And then on the second installation of Proxmox, I want to see if I can restore this.
Okay, so when you do this, it's going to bring over all the settings that you had over there. So I know the settings that I have do not exceed. I'm going to uncheck unprivilege. Click start after restore. And see what we have. Task error. Try again. Oh, okay, that was my mistake. I'm going to store it on drive two. Underprivileged container, uncheck. Start after restore. Let's give it a shot. All right, that seems to be working now. But it wasn't that difficult to do going to extract Okay, it's looking good. And the container is started. As you can see, the faded start over here. I'm going to click out of this. And I'm going to log into this container's console. Okay. And in order for me to do that, I have to get the information for this one. Let me see. All right, and we are in. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so the container more or less is running, um, but I got some things I got to do to fix it. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, leave it, and tell us what you think. Thank you and have a great day.